His Instagram is Snug Outlaw, right? Yes, sir. Right now, we're currently just cruising along, driving, looking for chameleons. Yes. And this man has the eyes because he's caught in like 20 of them already, and I've only caught two. But we're gonna keep cruising along and see what we can show you. Just searching along, looking in the trees, seeing what we can find. Nice female. <laughs> Can't even see it on camera. That's a really good uh, sticks. But we've caught two really nice ones are in there right now. Mine, the black one, Joey's caught the uh, yellow one. All right, we're getting this 21 foot cane pole out of here. 21, one inch. The one inch pole. And Joey just, right Joey female. sees a big chameleon right there. Don't, don't do that. All right, there you go. Get this 21 and a half foot chameleon right here. He's, oh, he's, don't, there you go, he's right here. Let him get on this stick. Don't let him go in. He's coming down. He's right here. Come right here, Jay. Oh, see him, do Yeah. I got him. Got him? Yeah. There you go. I got him. He's a big one. I think it's a male. I mean, he's really, really slim. Oh, That's yeah, a, male. a male. Check that guy out. Yeah, get some vid. This is one of the prettier ones of the night. He fell. Look at him just holding on with his tail. It's a nice one right there. Look how round he is. Big female. Oh, check this guy out. Ooh. Got him, Joey? Mm -hmm. yeah. Check him out. Little male. Not too shabby. And there and caught this stud. Definitely the best one of the night. Monster. Look. Get him. Let's see if we can get him full sized. He's got a lot of blues, greens, yellows, everything in him. Definitely an awesome size chameleon right there. Monster. He's as big as my steering wheel. <laughs> Look at him just chilling. He's gonna go outside. Let's see what we got. Definitely a few in there. Just wait till we get in the end and we'll throw all of yeah. them in one bucket with no leaves. <laughs> Come on, big girl. Check out. 
these things. There's a big one on my head still. There's a three on my head still. Alright guys, this is one of the prettiest ones of the night. Me and Joey had another successful day, but <laughs> we caught five tonight. I can hear him hissing like crazy. But we caught five tonight, and the other night that we came out here, I believe we caught 17 or 16. So between these two nights, we did a pretty good job. I'm taking one home to put in the cage. Um, but these things are just beautiful. Look at all his colors that he has on there. Definitely a crazy night. He's gonna climb back up to my neck. Bunch of blues, yellows, oranges, greens. These things are awesome. Here in Florida, there's just spots that have, you know, a few of these guys, people that have released their exotics, uh, invasive species. So look at them just go up there. So we're just taking a few out of their areas and keeping them as pets. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. So we have the Korean starter kit cage. It comes with a lot of things. And then we also, this side we have our mealworms, our feeding bowl, a spray which means you need to be sprayed twice a day, and a water drip for. all set up here. I already have plants in there. We have Rango chilling here at the top. I'm actually editing our video, um, but we can go in here and check him out. He is still a little bit feisty. He has been eating plenty, but he is a wild chameleon. So if you're gonna get bit, you're gonna get bit. He has gotten a little bit nicer already. So let me turn off one of these lights. But that is Rango right there. He does get nice. It's later in the day, he'll let you hold him. He's eating a lot. He eats like flies. I have some mealworms in here right now that he's been feasting on. But right now, he's just in a grumpy mood. See, he actually goes for my hand instead of just hissing. But yeah, check him out. Right now, since, like I said, since he has all those, um, he's a little stressed well, from me pissing him off. He has a lot of black on him. And the darker they get, the uh, more angry or stressed they are. Their colors do change due to their mood and environment. So when he's black like that, it means he's angry. I used to have three chameleons in there and I found out that you're only supposed to have one because they fight. That's why I'm only left with Rango now. So the big chameleon that I had caught, I originally put him in his cage and he was just too big. He was not doing well, so I decided to release him. I actually found him last week. I found him again. I'm gonna roll that clip right now. It's a little closer. See him right there? This is what it looked like during the day. Right there, really nice. Be one. He's full of greens, oranges. Where he's lit up in the sun, waiting for some bugs. So that's like what they look like during the day. And they're just in. Hedges, trees, things like that. You can see them moving around now. This is a different angle right here. See them right there, pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you like Rango. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please go check out Joey's Instagram. That's Snook Outlaw. I'll put it here and also in the description below. In the kitchen, in the kitchen. Let's go. If you guys want to co catch chameleons or redfish or anything like that, hit up Joey. He's got that's his Instagram right there on his hat with the chameleon. With the chameleon, uh, really cool kid. He showed me where to catch his chameleons. I've gone out with him probably four times now, uh, a couple times fishing, a couple times chameleon hunting, and we've done really well. Um, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. And until next time, 
See you guys later.